In a Libre design, we have the Design Explorer over here on the left-hand side. And inside that Design Explorer, we have a lot of information, right? So right here at the top, it's telling us what the part number is. We've got material configurations. It's listing different axes, the different planes, points, tracing images. You know, and then you come down here to the features, right? And you have the features listed one by one in the order that they were created, okay? Now, I have this little bar here, which is with the history bar, and I can roll that back through time. So if I grab this bar, I can roll it all the way back here to the very first feature, right? And then I can just kind of step my way through it. So, so the next thing I did is I drafted it, and then grab it and move it down one more time. I can see I can fill it. Uh, and at any point in time, like right here, for instance, you could say, hey, you know what I'd like to do is I actually want to add a feature at this point, right? So you could come in and you could de define something like, you know, grab the top surface here, um, activate a sketch on it. You know, let's just do, you know, let's gonna kind of cut a big rectangular hole in this thing, right? So um, right over here, we're gonna extrude it through and we're gonna go through all, right? So I'm gonna cut that thing right through the center of this part. So now I've just kind of placed that new feature in the middle of the history, right? And now if I go forward, and it goes to shell, notice what happens is it shells everything, but it added in, it, it did that command again, but now it has extra data because it has this cut feature in there, right? Uh, and if you go further down, you can see it's gonna add in the other couple features, and there they are, right? So it allows it to roll forward and backwards and see how a model's built, but it also allows you to insert individual uh, features inside, you know, at different points in the history. Okay, the other thing you can do over here is you can change the names, right? So instead of extrusion one, which is just not that great, is just right click on it and say rename, right? So I'm gonna call that like the tub, all right? And you know, then you might come in and say what the draft is or the fillet. You can change all these different names to descriptive names because when you start getting a really complicated design, you have all these individual features. Sometimes it's hard to figure out which one's which without, without having to like kind of mouse over and figure out what's going on. If you name it something reasonable, you can just go and easily find it. And same thing with the sketches, right? So here's our extrusion for that box, right? I can change the name over here of the actual extrusion, but I can also change the name of the sketch. So I can rename that sketch. So you, it just allows you to kind of keep very nice control over your tree and it allows you to go back and find things a lot easier. And notice that you also have these little pluses and minuses, right? So each one, you know, you can kind of roll things up into, you know, you can hide the individual sketches that happen to be under each individual feature and so on. So anyways, that's kind of the basics for the Design Explorer and what's going on there. Definitely recommend, you know, renaming the features and sketches. And then just keep in mind that you can roll that bar back to see how a model's built. And that's actually a really great way to learn a Libre design is get a complicated model and then just roll it back and you know go to step one like what was step what happened and just keep rolling it forward and seeing step by step how something's built it's a really great way to learn anyways hopefully that will help you out and make it a little bit easier for working with the design explorer and a Libre design